In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this error, null injector error, in Angular. As you can see, this error is happening right now in my application. Uh, when I click this option, books, it is um, executing a component that um, is injecting um, a service in, in the constructor. And that service is trying to establish a connection to a backend. Now, let's see this. Uh, is to compound two elements. The first one is the service. Okay, as you can see, um, it has all the necessary logic to establish the connection with the backend. And this is the component that is um, injecting the service uh, using the constructor. Now, why this error is happening? When um, when the application is trying to use this object, it is uh, it doesn't get an instance of that service, okay? And when it tries to do something with that object, it uh, generates the the error. Now, um, we need to specify that uh, instance creation, and um, how we can do that? The first step is in the service, we have to establish this decorator injectable, okay? And uh, you need to import uh, that decorator here in the import section. And in this way, uh, this service is going to be ready to work with uh, dependency, dependency injection. That's the first step. The second step is to establish or create the instance of that service okay we can do that in this file the app module file that's here okay in the section providers we are going to specify all the services that are going to be uh, injected in the application in this case i can i can do this book service and now, um, this instance is going to be um, able, it's going to be available uh, for the entire application. The whole application, you are going to get the instance of that service um, when you inject um, that object in the, const in the constructor. You're going to be the instance everywhere, okay? This is the first option, the first injection first um the first way to do that uh, that injection for the entire application now i'm going to stop this if you want if you want to get the the result you want to see the result you have to uh restart the application now it's running again okay let's wait for the execution and it is ready now let's try here let's play this and okay as you can see it was possible to establish the connection okay because the component got the instance of the service that's uh, the first uh, the first way you can use to uh, inject the service i'm going to remove this from here because we're going to try the second option and i'm going to stop the uh the application now what is the second option the second option is to inject the service in the uh the main component the app component that's the component that is at the top of all the components and we can Mm, set this here and we can um, call and use the book service here well first I'm going to command this and I'm going to execute this again to get the error again okay it is running Let's wait a second. 
the execution. Okay, this building is ready. Try again. And we get the error again. Now. Now, let's see. Uh, in this way, we inject the service in the app component all the uh, children all the components that are uh, children of this um, this main component are going to be able to get this instance in the constructor okay and this component is a child of this component now let's um, execute this again and we're gonna be able to to see the result again. We can execute this again, and we get the uh, the, the the records uh, from the backend. That's the second option. Now, the um, the instance is available to all uh, all the children, but this instance is not going to be available for other services. That's the difference, okay? Be be between the first uh, the first way, the first way, and this way, okay? Um, now uh, I'm going to command this. And let's try the third option. I'm going to stop the application. The third op option is to use this uh, this line of code here. Okay, in the metadata of the uh, component. Now, when I do this, this instance is going to be. Uh, available only for this component okay no other component only this component is going to have the instance of this um this service okay now let's try again and to execute this again and let's see Let's check again. It is trying to build the application. It's running again. Now we get the result. But the instance is only in the component. Okay. We have been restrict restricting the, uh, the scope of the service. And you can use this uh, if you want to uh, make that kind of restriction uh, for a component or for the, for the application or uh, for the services. Okay, that's the way you um, you can use this. Now, what would happen if we declare uh, in the app component? the same line and in the app module the books component not the book service okay At the first stage we're going to create an instance um, for the entire application but when you or when the this component the main component it's executed a new instance is going to be uh, replaced uh, the instance that, the instance that was created in the app module okay and if you when the uh, the component uh, the uh, custom component it's is created again it's going to uh, regrite or create another different instance for that uh, for that service 
So, uh, well, my uh, recommendation is to use the first approach because you uh, are gonna have the instance uh, in the entire application. But according to your necessities, if you want to restrict uh, uh, the, the instance or the access to the to the service, you can use one of these uh, approaches. Okay, so that's uh, the way how you can solve this, this error.